Hey there, it's Susan Randall with EXP Realty at beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. It's another hot day. I think summer is going to be here for another week or so, and then fall is coming, but we've got a lot of events still on the plate for fall. So what's going on this coming weekend? We have the Lake of the Ozark Marine Dealers in Water Boat Show. Now that is on the west side over by the Hurricane Deck Bridge. That's Captain Ron's has that. Also on the west side, we have the Christian Music Festival that, uh, that's at the Ozark Amphitheater. Great event. Both of these events are weekend events, so you might want to check that out. Now the following week, if you happen to be in town on Wednesday and you love you some wings, well, let me tell you, we have what they call the Wing Fest. Now it used to be called in the day, it used to be called Winging, but I guess I'm dating myself on that. It's called the Wing Fest. It is at Regalia Hotel off of HH. And for a nominal fee, in other words, a ticket, you'll get all you can eat wings from around the lake and a free beverage. So check that out on Wednesday. Now the weekend on Saturday, we have the Pumpkin Chunkin Palooza. Now that's back at the Ozark Amphitheater again. A lot of fun. If you've ever seen this on TV, it is just, it's a hoot. The kids have a great time. They have a petting zoo, a corn crib. Um, they have face painting and that type of thing. And then also for the adults and the kids too, you actually get to see how they catapult. That's the only word I know. It's called catapulting that pumpkin as far as it can go. So you might want to have some fun over there. And then Sunday, if you're into classic boats, you know, the ones that are made out of wood and just look so beautiful, you never even want to use them. That is going to be at Margaritaville. They have an event there. It's kind of called a cruise in of some sort. And so if you have a boat, you want to participate in it, check out the website. Alrighty, what is going on in real estate? We still have a shortage of homes. It's kind of crazy right now, but when it comes to condos, I just realized we have over 40 condos right now on the market that are under $100,000. That's pretty good. Now, many of these, you can get a boat slip, including the price. Others, they might not have a boat slip, but I bet you they're pretty close to a marina where you could probably rent a slip. Or if you buy at that community, there might be others that are willing to rent a slip to you because you're an owner. Alrighty. Now there's also, you know, many of you realize that, or now will realize because they tell you a lot, is that there's really not a lot of places that you can go condo-wise that have an elevator. So would you believe there's over 60 units right now that are considered walk-in units for sale? Who would have thought? Now walk-in would typically be either no steps involved, no stairs like this one in mind, but maybe one or two steps up or down or whatever the case may be, that's not bad at all. That's pretty darn walk-in to me. So you might know want to look at that link. And last but not least, you're coming to live here full-time, and let's just say you don't really need or want to be physically on the lake, meaning you don't have the lakefront, you don't have the cost of the boat, dock, etc. I don't live on the water. I have my wilderness that I love, but I see the water all the time, so that's perfect for me, and I like to go out bass fishing, which a lot of you know. Anyway, um, I've got a link to Lakeview Properties that have a garage, which is like super, super important, and <laughs> have a garage, and most people think, isn't that normal? <laughs> Not necessarily here. And also have access to a slip. Either it's available for sale, or there's one for rent nearby, or it comes included with a community slip. So check out that link. And as always, if I can help you with any of your real estate needs, feel free to reach out. Until next time, bye-bye.